Ladies and gentlemen, it seems we've got some good news in the NBA 2K community. For the past four or five months, I've been telling 2K, hire more people. You have billions of dollars. What's holding you back from creating content on NBA 2K19 consistently and also having a good amount of content to sell the next game? Because it's usually either or, but we can have both. You just need to take the best devs from all the other developers, poach them if you need to, and you'll be all right. Now, uh, they may have answered our prayers because there was a tweet that came out saying this. Breaking, Michael Condry, former studio head of Sledgehammer Games, has joined Take-Two and 2K Games as president of a new development studio. Oh, there we go, Michael Condry. Except I don't really know who Michael Condry is. Before we get started, the Princess Margaret Cancer Foundation is doing an event. They're trying to raise 100,000 for cancer research. I said I had to do my part. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Link in the description, the very first link. Click it, I'm matching every donation. If you donate five, I'm donating another five. We're trying to help them reach their goal. They're also doing a Twitch live stream. If you wanna watch that and donate, I'll leave a link in the description. It's for a good cause and it's an opportunity to give back. Well, a quick scroll down into the replies had me feeling pretty pessimistic. Just keep him away from Call of Duty. That's all I ask. Him leaving was the literal best thing to happen in World War II. NBA 2K20, advanced ball fair. That's probably a Call of Duty joke. I don't get that one. Never playing 2K ever again. How much you guys want to bet that GTA Online, Red Dead Redemption 2, and all other games published by Take-Two are going to have supply drops and loot crates now? Charlie Intel even responded to this one saying, probably zero dollars because he's at 2K Games, not Rockstar Games. <laughs> Call of Duty fans, I can assure you this. Michael Condry and what he's done with Call of Duty doesn't even come remotely close what 2K has done with NBA 2K19. The microtransaction implementation in NBA 2K, I wanna remind you guys, is the worst in the entire gaming industry and it doesn't even come close. And so by all metrics, there is no better place. For Michael Condry, he's coming home. He's never known a place like this before where they embrace microtransactions like this. And so that's, that's um, it's probably bad news for us then, huh? <laughs> OC said, rip 2K games. Now, uh, 2K doesn't only produce NBA 2K, right? 2K Games is the publisher, and under 2K Games is 2K Sports. And 2K Sports is the game that publishes NBA 2K. So there's a hierarchy, right? NBA 2K is developed by Visual Concepts. Visual Concepts publishers, 2K Sports, 2K Games, take two. It's like a ladder of hierarchy. I'm just trying to paint the picture. The new studio will be developing an unannounced project under 2K Games label. There's no information yet if that title is a first person shooter or a different type of, wait, what? Today's announcement represents a rare and special opportunity for devs to help build and shape the, wait, what is happening? I guess it wouldn't make sense to hire a guy for sports games that's never previously had any experience with sports games. Okay, but I'm, I'm making this video because I wanna prove a point to you guys, okay? EA does this all the time, but it's the first time we're really seeing 2K do something like this. EA sports titles are cash cows, right? They implement all kinds of microtransactions and nobody really says anything, so they continue to do it. And people keep buying it, so they continue to do it. And EA makes a ton of money off of packs and stuff like that in FIFA and Madden. 2K does the same with NBA 2K. For these companies, these titles are like safe havens. It's easy money because you don't have to develop a new game. It's the same game. You're making slight improvements to that game and each year you're making billions of dollars off of it. It requires the lowest amount of input for the greatest amount of output. And if you're a publisher, you're gonna keep milking it because that's what makes sense. So you might think to yourself, okay, so if 2K has billions of dollars, then why are we still having some of the issues we have now? It seems like they have all the resources to fix it, and you'd be correct. It's because instead of reinvesting into the games that make them that money, like NBA 2K, they instead like to, well, sometimes they take that money and invest it, try and make more money, but a lot of the times they take risks. And those risks have nothing to do with the game that brought them the money. Let me give you an example. running out of time gentlemen let's move go back go back now 
Do you guys remember this game? Because I do. Spec Ops The Line. It was a third person shooter based in Dubai, single player game. And Xbox 360 Magazine titled it 2K's Game Changing Shooter. So when they make all those money from games like 2K, they end up just shooting a shot and seeing where it lands. Cause you never know if it might make them more money. And some of the shots end up like this game. Just a one-off game that costed a lot of money but never resulted in anything. Because it, it costs a lot to hire developers, right? If you're getting a developer for a AAA game, you want him to be the best. And so you have to first convince him to join your team and then pay him a reasonable amount. So let's just say $100,000 or $80,000. If you get like 10 or 12 developers to make a small team, that's a million dollars a year just for the developers, not even including any other costs for the infrastructure that might need to be created. Are you using Unreal Engine 4? Well, then you're gonna have to pay Epic Games. What engine are you using? Frostbite? You might have to pay EA. So, I mean, I'm not like really in depth. I don't really know too much, too much with all of this. But all I know is that 2K has the resources to make their game flawless. And so when I see issues with the game and then I hear news about them making new development studios. I'm just thinking to myself like, damn, man. Like, let's do one or the other, right? If you're gonna have an intrusive microtransaction system, at least make the game perfect, right? All right, so let's make a list of things that 2K could have done with the money instead of give it to Michael Condry and his new dev team. One, fix delaying. Because delaying is fixed on the stage in the ante up. You can no longer delay on there. But on park events and the regular park, it's a big issue. Two, there's no reason people should be waiting 10 minutes in between park games. I've just now realized how big of a problem this is because I have clout, so I never had to deal with it. But I don't know how you guys do it, ladies and gentlemen. 2K, simple fixes, right? You wanna remove the record. Stop showing everybody the records and the overalls because it's making people afraid to play. When I play other ranked games, they hide that stuff. So you don't have a reason to rage quit or not show up to a game. Simple stuff, y'all, simple stuff, simple stuff. I'm gonna talk about this in the next 2K drama Alert, but the execution for that $250,000 my team tournament was absolutely abysmal. You're giving away a lot of money and there's a there's an opportunity here to create some real content around the thing and it was just fumbled. It was it was muffed. Are those words? When you're playing pro am, once you reach pro rank, you can't find any games publicly anymore. So if you want to play games, you have to use private matchmaking. There is still a steady dose of people on NBA 2K with very racist remarks on their t-shirts, just walking around, sometimes for over a week before they even get banned. Now that's just me as a 2K player, right? There's a lot more things that need to be fixed, sure. But as a gamer in general, I'm a little excited because anytime there's even a potential for a new IP, I'm listening. EA just released Apex Legends, and those are the devs that created Titanfall. It came out of nowhere. They just released it on the day of. Nobody saw it coming. So for what it's worth, I hope that that team is successful and that they make a ton of money. But I just wish that 2K, instead of always looking for new money-making opportunities, would sometimes just invest in the quality of their product and take that money and make the products they currently have better because they can use some work. I started the video this way, and I'm going to end the video this way. 2K hire more people. And let me be more specific, not to an entirely new dev team, but to a 2K19 specific team that's focused on making not only the current game fixed, fixed, because it's broken in a lot of different aspects, fixed, but also making sure that the next game is A1. Because it's possible to do both things, especially given the resources you guys have. I'm gonna catch you guys later. I'm out. Peace.